It's that time again, and these are your weekly announcements for the Connected Christian Church. It's Sunday, October the 13th. Govern yourselves accordingly. Did you know that October has traditionally been known as the Pastoral Appreciation Month? We want to celebrate our pastors, show some token of love and kindness today. Our Tuesday Night Bible Study, known as Tuesday Night Transformation. Our October study series is called The Faith Factor. Meet us at 6.30 p.m. for an awesome time in the Word. It's the Impact Youth Ministries into School Year Fun Scourge in 2020. Write the vision and make it plain. We're doing a bottle and can drive. We're asking that you would bring your bottles and cans to church every Sunday to help us underwrite a fun excursion for our youth. See Deacon Sandy for more details. Starting on the 27th of October, it's going to be our Pinks Out Sunday. Join us in support of all those that have survived, living with, or been lost to breast cancer. We're all wearing pink in support. It'll be an awesome time. Because that Sunday, we're also celebrating our dear sister, Sister Crystal Combs, who went home to be with the Lord, who was a survivor of breast cancer. We're celebrating her day. It's an awesome day of remembrance. That's during the 11 a.m. service. Because right in the afternoon, we're having our 2019 Harvest Festival. There's going to be games, there's going to be faith, and it's going to be food. Bring your family and let's have a good time together. Save the date, November the 9th, 2019, the Upstate Mammography Bus will be on site. This is a partnership with Molina Healthcare, Upstate Hospital, and The Connected Church. Thank you for your time. If these have been your announcements, be blessed. Jacob was dumb. He 
Esau was hairy. Jacob had smooth skin. Esau was hairy. He was very pursuit, which meant that his arms were covered in hair. Now what ends up happening is he goes into his father, his father who had become blind, and he says, bestow on me the birth, the, uh, the blessing before you die. And he not only stole Esau's birthright, but he also stole the blessing that was over his life. Jacob had some issues. Jacob had gotten to a position where he made his living shoving and jiving, dipping and dodging, robbing, as we would say now, Peter to pay Paul, they weren't around yet, so don't make me up on that. But many of us have lived our lives doing what we thought we were big enough to do. But now comes a point of reckoning, because Jacob, who had actually accumulated being a crook, Accumulated, being uh, shady, accumulated, he had some wealth. He went to go meet up with his brother because the day of reckoning had come to pass. So he goes to meet up with Esau and he sends some, some men ahead and he says, well, Esau is on the way to come meet you with 400 of his men and he got nervous because he knew that from the womb he had done crooked stuff. Now, I listened to a preacher the other day. This is why I listen to other preachers. But this preacher gave some great insight. Jacob was jacked up because this was passed on to him from his line of Rebecca. Okay? Many of us are living lives and living lives that have been passed on to us generationally, so much so that we don't know that there's any other way. I was brought up in an environment that we always said that Scuffling. I don't even know what scuffling is. I don't even think that's a dictionary word. But we, we scuffled, which meant that we were able to, to, you know, make a dollar out of 15 cents. And as long as you had a bag of rice, you had a meal. And if you had some butter, then you had some breakfast. The, I, I was brought up like that. Enough so that when I got old and recognized, I didn't have to live that way. It was somewhat of a conundrum because I, I, I thought that's all we knew how to do. So Jacob was in a position where he even talked from his mother how to get old.
decision about a year ago. I said, you know what? I would much rather have peace. People are like, man, you crazy. Listen, I would much rather have peace than worry about riches and wealth. I gotta be able to lay my head down at night and know I did the right thing. So Jacob was in that position where he says, I can be good at doing what I'm doing. So he gets to the point where he was praying, he was up in this, on this mountain, he was separated from everything that he had accumulated, he was separated from his security, he was separated from everything that was sent, uh, that he had gotten together from the way he was living, and all of a sudden there was a man that, he, that appeared out of nowhere, and it began to fight, and it began to wrestle, and it began to struggle against each other, and they struggled until the breaking of day. Many of you are struggling with where you are, struggling with what you've accomplished, struggling with what you've done, and guess what? The breaking of day is coming, but you cannot quit. You cannot stop, because if you stay in the position that you're in right now, if you stay in the position that you're in right at this moment, you never accomplish what God wants you to accomplish. So they're wrestling. Let's see, I need an example. All right, back to I had to think about the same example. You're too tall, and you ain't about to pick me up for nothing. So I had to think about the same example. But I still had to have some size. So they're wrestling, and they're struggling against each other. They're struggling against each other. They're tussling all night. Now imagine this. You're wrestling against somebody. Now I don't know about you, I got maybe three to five minutes worth of good wrestle in my life. Then I got to go to the car, and y'all forgive me, y'all pray for me, but we ain't gonna go no further than five minutes. That's all I'm gonna tell you right there. I ain't, my, my knees is popping. Man. They wrestled all night, and they're struggling with each other all night. And it seemed like it was insurmountable. Sometimes it would seem as if the man would win, and sometimes it would seem as if Jacob would win, but they're struggling in the same position, and nothing changes as they're struggling. Finally, the man says, breaking the day is coming. We fought all night long. Many of you, the daybreak is coming. You've been fighting all night long. You've been crying all night long. You've been struggling all night long. He says, I need you to let me know. He said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me because I don't have peace in my life. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me because I don't like the person I've become. I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. So the man asks him, he doesn't say he's going to bless him immediately, the man asks him, what is your name? He gave him wisdom. He gave him the name that indicated his situation. Because Jacob means trickster, usurper, liar. He gave him the name that indicated what he was doing. And the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob. Because here's the thing, you recognize you were in a jacked up situation. Many of you recognize it. You identify with it. You identify with the names that people have called you. Huh? You identify with your issues. You identify your name or your personage with your addiction. Oh, can we talk some real talk today? You identify yourself with what you used to do. You identify yourself with who you used to sleep with. You identify yourself with who you give your body to. And you let yourself be indicated by that. But the truth is, that's not your name. That's not your purpose. And that's not what God has created you. So Jesus was in a position where he said, here's who I am. It's that time again, and these are your weekly announcements for the Connected Christian Church. It's Sunday, October the 13th. Govern yourselves accordingly. Did you know that October has traditionally been known as the Pastoral Appreciation Month? We want to celebrate our pastors, show some token of love and kindness today. 
our Tuesday Night Bible Study known as Tuesday Night Transformation. Our October study series is called The Faith Factor. Meet us at 6.30 p.m. for an awesome time in the Word. It's the Impact Youth Ministries end of school year fun scourge in 2020. Write the vision and make it plain. We're doing a bottle and can drive. We're asking that you would bring your bottles and cans to church every Sunday to help us underwrite a fun excursion for our youth. See Deacon Sandy for more details. Starting on the 27th of October, it's going to be our Pinks Out Sunday. Join us in support of all those that have survived, living with, or been lost to breast cancer. We're all wearing pink in support. It'll be an awesome time. Because that Sunday, we're also celebrating our dear sister, Sister Crystal Combs, who went home to be with the Lord, who was a survivor of breast cancer. We're celebrating her day. It's an awesome day of remembrance. That's during the 11 a.m. service. Because right in the afternoon, we're having our 2019 Harvest Festival. There's going to be games, there's going to be faith, and it's going to be food. Bring your family and let's have a good time together. Save the date, November the 9th, 2019, the Upstate Mammography Bus will be on site. This is a partnership with Molina Healthcare, Upstate Hospital, and the Connected Church. Thank you for your time. If these have been your announcements, be blessed.